Hey, how's it going? So I got another little project I want to do on the Royal Enfield, on the Mr. Clean. And that is I want to change out these chain adjusters. So this end cap, these bolts right here, and the little adjuster inside. And what I want to do is replace them with these Stratus Performance chain adjusters. And this is not about performance, it's just more about the look. I think these are just gonna look a whole lot better. So I got these end caps that are polished metal, and then you do have this milled aluminum adjusters for inside. They look a lot better and they are a lot lighter. Now, not that this is about the weight. I mean, it's not really a big deal between that weight and whatever the weight of these here are. But if we do throw them on there just to see how light it is, that is 57, almost 57 grams. Uh, if we switch the units here, two ounces. So the super light, throw that cap on there. You're coming in at just over three ounces, or if we go back to the gram, basically 89 grams. So super light. Like I said, there's no performance or improvement for this other than they just look a lot better. And who knows, maybe it's a little more precise, a little easier to adjust your chain, but uh, I just think they're just gonna look so much better and with the polished end caps, just match the chrome Mr. Clean look a lot better. So now it's just a matter, we just gotta get the bike up off the ground level and just enough just to pull out the rear axle so that we can slide those adjusters out and put in the new ones. And just to note, as I'm doing this, I do have a sump guard under the bike. When I did this before in another video, someone thought I was lifting it by the exhaust, which wouldn't be a good idea. Okay, so I do have this 24 millimeter wrench here, and then also just this rod that sticks into the side there just to hold it in place. And it should be pretty easy to loosen and take off. So we have the nut and the washer. And then we should be able to just slide the axle out. There we go. Uh, we do just have these two 12 millimeter nuts here and just that end cap. I guess you don't really even need to undo the nuts just to pull this piece off. So now if we look at this piece, compared to that piece, and then obviously I think this end cap is gonna look a lot better and this bolt that goes in here just sits flush. So you don't get all this part just sticking out so we'll take this new one and slide it right in there. We'll just get that started a little bit. And we're also going to put some little bit of Loctite on there. They give you a bottle of Loctite. Yeah, you don't have to even un unscrew anything. You can just pull them out. And my camera stopped, so we'll move this camera over here. Overheated because it's... It's the very end of September, but it's still uh, 106 degrees out. So yeah, and then we'll just slide that one in there. And you can see where the hole is right there. And then we'll just slide the axle back through. like that. We'll just lo very loosely put this on just to keep everything in place, but we're not going to fully tighten it. We're going to then adjust and make sure we have the chain adjusted correctly. You can see the little lines here. So we'll make sure the chain tension is correct, that the lines match up on either side, and then Bob's your uncle. So they do give you this bottle of uh, 
So it'll block type 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 stuff. This is a different brand. And I'm just gonna put a little, little bit on there. Okay, so now we do have this little star tool that's needed to tighten these up. So we'll check, obviously that is way too slack there. So we're gonna be adjusting back. You can see there, there's lines. And so we can count the number of lines and then also from either the edge and then match it up to this line here. And then we just do the same on this side. Make sure the number of lines so that way we know it's perfectly even and the tire is pointing straight. Okay, so now that I have it perfectly lined up, the same number of lines match perfectly on each side, I'm gonna tighten this down. Um, you do have a torque wrench and it's set at 70 Newton meters or 55 foot pounds. So right there. And then what I'm gonna do is just now that it's tight, I'm not worried about moving these, but I'm just gonna give these a little bit of a tighten, just a little turn, just to make sure that they're secure, just like that. Doesn't need to be much. Give it a little bit of a wipe, a little bit of a polish. So what do you think of that? I think that looks a lot better than the stock ones, absolutely.